Hi, in this video we'll show how to use the signal store from NGRX. Our goal is to eventually replace the existing RxJS store with this new one that is based on the Angular Signals implementation. The project has been updated to use Angular 17, so make sure to pull the latest changes if you want to code along. The first thing we have to do is to install the package NGRX Signals. Then we will create a new file called My Signal Store. We'll use the Signal Store function to create our store. We also need to define the state and we will use the existing initial state object, but we have to export it first. The ngrx signals package provides a function called with state and by using it and passing in the initial state to it, our store is set to be used. We can go to the desktop component and inject our store here. Now we can get rid of the folders observable and turn it into a signal. And it will just read out all the folders for now, without filtering it by the ones that belong to the desktop only. We have a template syntax error now, so we have to get rid of the async pipe and just use the folder signal here. If we go to the browser and try to run the app, we'll get an error because the My Signal Store has no provider. So, in order to be able to use it with the inject function like we did, we have to add a little configuration part to it in a place where it was declared. So, we type provided in root like we are used to do with our regular services. Now the error is gone and we see that the desktop now displays a list of folders. To filter them out like we did before, we can go to the My Signal Store and add a function with computed, where we can access the folders and declare the desktop folder signal, which is a computed signal that will update its value every time the folder signal change. We can use our existing RxJS store to reuse the code responsible for filtering and just paste it in the computed signal declaration. This code needs a few adjustments, so we first get rid of the state variable since we have direct access to the folder signal. And we have to add parentheses to get access to signal values. We also need to get access to deleted folder IDs and selected folder IDs that are the structures at the top of the with computed function. The last thing we have to do is to go to the desktop component and access the desktop folder's computed signal here. So now our folders are filtered by desktop only. So that's how we can use the signal store in our Angular projects. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.